Hey, what's going on guys? Bonfire here and welcome back to another episode. Yeah, freaking hurt, hurt. I am joined with Drake. Drake out of his boat today. He's got a 25. We're out here at, you want me to say the lake name? Sure. We're out at noon today and we're catching him. So now it's time to put you guys on the chest. I got me the other one. Little tiny bass. When I pull up the camera, I catch the little ones. I don't mess with these, man. I brought the camera with us on the tournament and didn't even pull it out because we I should have pulled it out, but I didn't. See ya! Yep. You know what? Before we head out of here, I want to try something. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're gonna. I feel like if I jerk something bigger, they just don't like the small jerk. Thought I had one, but it was just a lie. That's bad, my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I am so bad. Oh, shoot. I should go back to eating. And now I will be having a nightmare <laughs> when I go to sleep. You're welcome. Losing a 10 pounder is worth a dream of me. <laughs> Come on, I just casted it at it. I just cast it right at it. Not even realizing. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> He's nothing special. <laughs> He looked bigger in the water. You don't need a net. He's definitely smaller. Beauty. That's what the same size as the other one. I'm just gonna say he is. Yeah, he was. He choked it. I can't get this. It's like stuck stuff. Hey, that was all on camera. <laughs> You're going on YouTube. Oh boy. Oh! oh. <laughs> they don't even want the swim jig. Sure, the swim jig's too long right there. 
want to throw my finger. Yeah, this is the most bad I've ever seen in one spot. That was right in front of us. I seen that fish. He was like a two pounder. There's so many shad though. You might have to throw like a slightly different color of a shad. Yeah, this is too like brown. Got him! That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. No, I'm joking. It's really small actually. It's actually not bad. It's not but bad. I That's a beauty. That's a orange. That's a really pretty fish. I think I'm. Yeah, I know that. Oh, I got one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm still changing it. Did you see how little he <laughs> Yeah, no. How do you have mine released yet? So that I was like, oh, double up potentially. Mine was like a tenth of the size of that. I see it. It was really small. No, they're everywhere though. This is really cool. I got a bass thumb going on already. I don't like them. Freaking hurt, hurt. Talk about first time going through the barb. It is? Mm hmm. I've never done that. I haven't either. Yeah, I can get the fish. <laughs> get Alright, guys. First time ever going through the barb. Yeah. Even with the other part of my fingers bleeding. I'm happy it, it went straight down. If it went at an angle, that would have been worse. Oh, Now you gotta hook in the deep end? It didn't go past the bar. What? Almost. <laughs> oh my god. That's not fair. That's. You got lucky. Yeah, it was the same thing that happened to you. That's Except mine went in the boat. I thought the rooster tail was going to be it. Oh, they're all stacked up in there too. Yep, that's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. The rooster tail. They always catch something. You got that right. I gotta get the pliers out on. Yep. Cause they they keep they like eat it really good though. Oh, right here. Right on my See you, bud. I only do that. Yeah. Going crazy right when you pass. Every time, every time, every time. It's not a bad one. Oh, he ate it good. Yeah. It looks better than that. His little mouth. Yeah. 
Wow. Man, I think the rooster tail is the wrong lure. Oh, I don't know. It's close. <laughs> now that's the smallest of the day. That is the smallest of the day, my yeah. friend. Look like a noose chopper. I don't think he's medical. Maybe 15 pounds of bass. That was a quick, easy release. You'll see me sitting off I can't do that on my boat. I yeah, wish. That's cool. oh. Right where you're supposed to be. There's another one. Oh. That was a better pick than the rooster tail. I agree, I agree. He's been caught before. Let's see if I can make it three in a row. Nope, it's not going to be three in a row. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a really fun day. Um, my pinky is still healing. It's been a few days. I think it's been today's Thursday that I am recording this outro. I know it's late, but it's still healing. Um, it honestly didn't do much. It, it really wasn't bad because when it got stuck in my finger, it went like all the way down to the bone. I'm taking it because as far as the barb, the barb was barely past the skin. It's probably, I wouldn't even say a millimeter, nanometer, probably not even that. Um, probably a little further. But it was in there pretty good. And so you know how you pull the hook out of a fish really hard. I was going really light with my skin, or with my finger, and it wasn't doing much. And I was like angling the barb to be out more towards the hole. And I gave it a little bit more pressure and it just popped out pretty easily. So I now know what it feels like to get a hook into the finger. I do not recommend it to anyone. Be careful of them bass. Them bass can be angry. But besides that, it was really fun because all the fish were like popping the surface to all the shad and the big bass were, or the little bass too, were chasing it. So we were just like chasing the shad all day. That was an absolute blast. That's one of my favorite techniques to use in the fishing world. But the only problem is, is getting a boat for it. Unless you can find it right off the shore. Which, if you can do that, throwing like a rooster tail, a swim bait. Um, just something to mimic the shad, like a crankbait even. Um, will be an absolute blessing and an absolute blast of your day fishing. But besides that, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you want to see more. And that's through like commenting or liking or sharing. Subscribing even. At 400, we're having a giveaway. So that's nine subscribers um 
so I want you guys to subscribe and stay tuned. If they ain't buying, don't blame your boy Bonfire. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.